Hey YouTubers, good morning, Rob Muffet. Guys, this is this is a, a stethoscope that's been in a family for decades. The little earbud broke, and I was racking my brain thinking about how to best replace it. I was going to put a little piece of wood dowel in the hole, and then just cover it with a hot glue gun and make another earbud. Then I was thinking, you know, they have this material that's a thermoplastic, and it you put it in hot water, and then you can form it like putty, and it makes a hard plastic and I was going to do the same thing I was going to do with hot glue gun but then last night I realized I had some wooden beads <laughs> like a dummy <laughs> so instead of being a trying to be a brainiac um, you just get a if you're if you're a stethoscope earbuds break just get you a, a wooden bead it works fine you know the funny thing about these stethoscopes is when I'm done using them I want to look for the switch to turn it off as like so used to digital stuff but yeah that's a quick easy way to fix your earbuds get a wooden bead now back to this material I'd never used it before before last night it's really fascinating material you put it the little beads in the hot water over above 170 degrees Fahrenheit and they become clear once they become clear like in 20 seconds you can remove them with like a spatula then you can you can mold them and once it dries it becomes white again and then you can you can sand it you can paint it you can carve it do whatever you want just as an experiment the first thing i made last night was a little like fish and you know i i'm not i'm not good at this but this is the first thing i made last night and it's very stiff this is going to make a really interesting lure i'm going to practice with this and make some crab lures for catching sheephead um i'll show you what happens so I'll, I'll do a video on the crab lure when i'm done but this is very interesting material I've never used it before. You can also use it like, let's say you need a nut. You can put this around a bolt, and when it hardens, you've, you've got a nut. There's so many different applications for it for uh, around the house. Obvi obviously for arts and crafts, too, but for, for, for if you're a do-it-yourselfer, there's a lot of interesting things you could do with this. And like I said, if you heat it up again, it'll get soft once again, and you could paint it. This green color comes from when I, when I molded mine. I put a coin into it and I put some magic marker on there and just to see if it would make an impression from the coin. And then I heated it again and I uh, watered up and it became uh, green inside. So it's kind of interesting material. So that's the video this morning. In case you never knew about polyplastics, this is a thermoplastic. They're not very expensive. I'll leave a link to it on Amazon. And not that many people watching this have a set scope or this problem. <laughs> But if you ever do, uh, there you go. Hope there's something helpful. Put on new stuff every single week. Been doing it for 14 years. Got over a thousand videos. And you all come back, watch more every week. Take care. See you out there.